Oh, I got some on my shirt. Oh, well. They won't be able to see that. No one will notice. Hi, I'm Amy. This is House of Nash Eats, and today we are making fresh peach ice cream. All right, so we are going to peel our peaches the easy way. And this is the way that my mom and grandma taught me how to do it when we would bottle peaches, and it's super slick. So you can totally use like a vegetable peeler or a Y peeler, but I find that using a large pot filled with hot boiling water and an ice water bath makes it so much easier. So we're going to take our peaches, and these are kind of small, so I'm actually gonna probably need like six or seven of these to get enough fruit. We're gonna put them down into our ice or into our boiling water for 30 seconds. And what this does is it's going to just shock the outside of the skin when we stick them from the boiling water into the ice water. It will stop them from cooking, make it so the peels just the skins just peel right off. And you can score the bottoms of the peaches first if you want to. I actually usually don't find that that's necessary. Usually you just pinch the peel, the skin, and it comes right off. And if you watched my peach pie video, you'll see I use the exact same method to peel my peaches for a peach pie when you're using even more peaches. Okay, so we don't want the peaches to cook. So after just 30 seconds, we're plunging them into this ice water bath and it stops the cooking process so the peaches don't cook through. And it shocks the skins to loosen them off of the flesh of the peach. Okay, now once these have been in the ice water for just a few seconds really, you can pick them up and you should be able to just rub it a little bit with your finger and the peel just comes right off. You could totally use frozen peaches for this ice cream recipe um, and just let them thaw first, but I really, really recommend using fresh or frozen peaches and not canned peaches. You could use canned peaches, but the flavor just won't be the same. This is called fresh peach ice cream for a reason. It's a seasonal summer flavor that we make every year. It's a tradition for us and we look forward to it whenever peaches come in season. We actually have a peach tree at our house and so we get lots of peaches and they're so, so good. But it only is in season for a couple of weeks and there are lots of peach varieties so you can actually get peaches for a lot longer during the summer. So we'll pick up our peaches at the farmer's market when they're there, or even at the grocery store if it looks like they've got really good ones when they're at the height of the season. This is my favorite summer fruit. And if you love peaches and use peaches in baking or other desserts, I'd love to know in the comments below what kind of things you make with your peaches. All right, once you've got your peaches all peeled, we're going to take them off of the pits and put them in a bowl and mix them with some sugar. Now the tricky thing about peaches is you're either going to end up with cling peaches or freestone peaches. And freestone peaches are really nice because when you cut around that little like crack or whatever it's called, they just come right apart and the pit will fall right out. These unfortunately are cling peaches and they taste just as good, but they're a little harder to work with and they just kind of fall apart um, or like they won't just pull apart, you actually have to cut the peach off of the pit really to use it. And you can slice them in half, but sometimes the pit will just fall apart and break in half. So I usually find when I've got cling peaches that I just cut around the edges of the peach to get the peach off of the pit. And it's totally fine. You don't need pretty slices or anything like this for your peach ice cream because we're just gonna mash this up anyway. Okay, and we're aiming for about two cups of peach for this recipe. Okay, once you've got your peaches peeled and sliced, we're going to add about half a cup of our sugar. So this isn't all the sugar, and it's all going in the same place, so you don't have to be super exact about that, um, unless you're measuring for the first time. But half a cup of sugar, and then just a little bit of lemon juice. And the lemon juice is going to keep the color of the peaches nice and bright so they don't start to brown. And we're going to stir those up. And what this does is it lets the juice really come out of the peaches. The sugar draws it out. It's a process called macerating the peaches. And it's going to help our ice cream not be so icy. If you put big 
pieces of fruit that haven't been macerated and that are filled with water in them into your ice cream, you'll get big icy chunks of fruit out. So we're gonna let this sit now for about half an hour while we work on other parts of our ice cream base. All right, so while the peaches are macerating in the sugar, we're going to work on our ice cream base. And this is a custard-based ice cream, which means we're going to cook it with some eggs that will temper, so it gives a really nice creamy texture and mouthfeel, so you can really scoop the ice cream and it doesn't get icy or too frozen. So, I mean, it'll be frozen, but you know what I mean. So we're going to add heavy cream. It's a cup and a half of heavy cream and a cup and a half of milk. We're gonna put this in a medium saucepan with about half of a cup of sugar. So we're saving just a little bit of our sugar, just another fourth of a cup for mixing with our eggs. And we're going to add just a little bit of salt, just a tiny bit. We're going to heat this mixture over medium heat just until the milk is hot, but it doesn't boil or bubble or anything. You might see some little bubbles right around the side and it might start to steam a little bit when you stir it, but that's what we want to happen because we're just gently warming this milk mixture. Okay, and while the milk is heating, we're going to work on our egg yolk. So we're going to use five egg yolks for this ice cream to make it really nice and scoopable. I find that with a fruit like peach, it has so much liquid in it that it has more of a tendency to get icy. So I add a little bit of extra egg yolk. That extra fat in there helps it be more scoopable and creamy. So we're gonna separate our yolks from our whites. And I like to save my egg yolks in another bowl and I use them to make macarons or pavlova or if you wanna be healthy, you could add these to an egg white omelet for breakfast in the morning. But these eggs are from my backyard chickens and I have a hard time getting rid of those egg whites that they worked so hard for us to make. Okay, and then to our egg yolks, we're going to add the last little bit of our sugar. It's about a fourth of a cup. And we'll use a whisk to whisk these together. Now, at first they might not seem like they're going to come together or it will be a bright yellow color. But as you keep whisking for about a minute or two, just by hand, they're going to lighten up and become nice and like come off your whisk in a ribbon. And you could absolutely make this recipe without the egg yolks and have it be egg free and no cook. And I'll leave a link to the printable recipe below where I've got in the post some directions on how to do that. But generally speaking, I like this best made with the egg yolks and with a custard base. Okay, so once your milk and cream mixture is hot and starting to steam just a little bit, what we're going to do is we're going to pour about half a cup of the milk into the egg yolks. And this is called tempering the eggs. What it's doing is it's allowing the egg yolks to come up to a warmer temperature gradually so it doesn't scramble the eggs by shocking them when you just dump them into the hot liquid. Add another half a cup, about, and just whisk those together. And once those are combined, we're just going to put this back into the saucepan with the rest of our milk and cream mixture. Okay, we're gonna stir that together and let it keep heating over medium heat until it is thick enough to coat the back of a spoon or about 170 to 175 degrees Fahrenheit on a candy thermometer or other digital thermometer. So I'm gonna stick my handy candy thermometer in here just so I can watch it. And once it comes up to 170 to 175, we're gonna pull it off, cool it down, and add our vanilla and the peaches and get ready to churn this ice cream. So my custard base has come to 170 degrees. So I'm gonna take the thermometer out and then I'm gonna take this off of the heat and set it right on some ice for an ice water bath. What this is doing is it's going to help it cool down a lot faster. You could just stick this in the fridge for four hours until it's chilled all the way. But this is my way of speeding up the process a little bit so we can get our ice cream done faster. So now I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla to our base. And then we'll set this to the side while we work on the rest of the peach part of our peach ice cream. Okay, so now that our peaches have macerated for about 30 minutes, a lot of juice has come out of these and we're gonna use a potato masher to mash these down. You could puree your peaches if you want them like totally smooth, but this is one ice cream where I do like a little like tiny chunks of peach in it. Not too, too much, because if they're very big at all, you'll get icy pieces of fruit 
and you don't want that in your ice cream. But a little bit of peach is really good. So mash these up until they're pretty well mashed. Okay, now we don't want to churn the ice cream with all that fruit in it or it will one, overflow the machine and two, it will probably just clump around your dash. So we're going to strain out the juice from the actual fruit. So I've got a fine mesh strainer. I'm just going to pour that mixture over it and then I'll grab my spoon to help get some of the juices out. And what we're going to do is we're going to reserve the, the peach fruit, like the larger pieces of peach, and we'll add that right at the very end of churning, like in the last minute or so of churning so it can be mixed in. But we're going to go ahead and add all of this sweet, juicy peach juice to our actual ice cream base so it tastes like peaches in every single bite. And I've got just about a cup of peach juice maybe and a cup of solid peach chunks left that are going to go into the ice cream. So now I've got my ice cream base and it has been chilling in an ice water bath and I've been stirring it periodically just to cool it down a little bit faster. It really only takes like 15 to 20 minutes to cool your ice cream down this way and it's a lot faster than letting it just sit in the fridge. So now I'm going to add my peach juice into the ice cream base, the custard, and then you'll just want to chill this until it's all the way cold and then we're going to toss it into our ice cream maker. All right, so I've got one of those like smaller Cuisinart ice cream makers that comes with a bowl that you stick in the freezer. And I've got an extra bowl too. And I love this ice cream maker because I can always make small batch ice cream and it works great for this size of a recipe. So I'm going to pour my chilled custard ice cream base into my container. <laughs> I forget what it's called, bowl, into my bowl. And then this is called a dash and it goes down inside and we'll put the top on and then we're gonna set the machine to churn and it will take about 20 to 30 minutes to churn this ice cream. And while it does that, it's going to add air and freeze it till it's about the consistency of soft serve. And we'll add the rest of the peach at the very end. Okay, so our ice cream has been churning for about 25 minutes now. And even when I stop it, it still is holding its shape down in here, even though it's soft serve kind of consistency. So now I'm gonna turn it back on and add the rest of my mashed peaches to the ice cream and just let it churn for like one more minute so that the peaches can get evenly dispersed. Okay, so now our peaches have gotten mixed in. You can probably see this is about maxing out the capacity of my Cuisinart ice cream maker. So I'm gonna scrape it off and a lot of the peach will gather around that dash and that's totally fine. When we pour it into our container, it will spread out. Okay, so it's still very, very soft. You could eat it soft just like this and it'll be delicious. But I really like hard scooped ice cream. So we're gonna move this over and transfer it to a container that's freezer safe. And I love using bread pans. I think they're just the right size for this batch of ice cream um, and they work great. So I'm going to pour and kind of scrape around the edges where it's even more firm and transfer all of that peach ice cream into our container. And then I'll grab some plastic wrap and we're just going to cover this. We'll cover it just like that. And we're going to stick this in the freezer for at least four hours or overnight, however long. It'll keep for a couple of weeks in the freezer. After four hours, it will be nice and hard and scoopable. Okay, so now it's my turn to actually have a bite of this fresh peach ice cream. I just love the beautiful like orangey color that it gets naturally from the peaches in it. And I am really excited to taste this. Here we go. Mm. Mm, it's so good. It's perfectly sweet. Just the right amount of sweetness with the fresh peach flavor really shining through. You get that creamy, nice mouthfeel of the ice cream. This is so good all on its own. You can use it to um, make ice cream sundaes. My favorite way actually of enjoying this is to make molasses cookies and sandwich some peach ice cream between them for the best summer ice cream sandwich you'll ever have. 
I hope you guys really love this peach ice cream just as much as we do. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys love this fresh peach ice cream just as much as we do. Leave me a note in the comments below and tell me what your favorite ice cream flavor is. And be sure to like and subscribe to my channel while you're here.